Hi guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. We've got Sam with us today. Yeah. We're going after some big old lobsters, so stay tuned. It's a big tide, so we might even find some scallops in this spot. Hopefully, eh, mate? Who knows? You never know. It's Smash Fishing, baby. Woo! Check this out, guys. Just found myself an oyster. I'm gonna keep that bad boy. <laughs> Just found a nice size oyster. Happy days. Oh, it's dead. I thought we had another one then. We're just working our way down to the shore edge here. It's a long way down. It's a big old walk this one, eh, mate? Oh, yeah. <laughs> another oyster there. That one's just about big enough for me to keep that one. Happy days. Finding the oysters laying around, you can see. There's oyster beds here. So these are just the escapees that are falling out. Just the discards. This could even be the uh, the oyster farmers themselves throwing them away. You can see they've harvested their oysters now. And this is where they put them into bags and they leave them to grow out. Hopefully we can find some more. Is she alive? Oh yeah, we've got another one. There's seaweed growing on that one. Nice. Look at that. Can't go wrong with a few oysters as well, especially this time of year. The water's nice and clear, so we'll have a little mooch around. See if we can find some more. Sam's looking in the lobster hole. So there you go, guys. Just wanted to show you. We've come to a different oyster bed now. You can see these are the bags that they grow them out in. You can see they're all quite small at the moment, by the looks of it. And yeah, they leave them grow out here. The tide keeps coming in and out, they get to a certain size and they get harvested and sold on the market. Look at the size of this beast just laying there under the rock. That's a huge starfish right there. Look at my hand compared to that. This one's name is Sausage Fingers. <laughs> Beautiful colours on that though. All the greens and different blues. Underneath, you've got all of his little feet there. Awesome to see. Let's get it back. There's a lobster here, guys. You can see him backing up in the hole there. <laughs> Only a little one. Nice to see nonetheless, though. He's fighting my hook at the moment, doesn't realise I'm here. And there we go. Lovely little lobster. Not the keeper we want. Nice to see. Nice solid male that one. Both claws. Come on, where's the big one? The lobsters are proving a bit difficult today. Very difficult. We are walking a seriously long way along the rocks and we're not finding much at the moment. Come on you beast, we will find you. Another lobster. <laughs> Another male as well. God, there's no keepers. The, the lobsters are proving very difficult to find today. Might be because we've had such warm weather, they pushed out a bit maybe. But they certainly are hard to find. I'll see you later, buddy. Got him. It's about the same size again. That's a female, that one. They're all just, just small lobsters. No more in there, no more in there. There you go, first female lobster of the day, but nowhere near a keeper. Check out this lobster in here, guys. This is gonna be very close to a keeper, I reckon. That's a decent lobster. Just wanna turn him round. There we go. Oh, he's a bit soft. Gutted. That's a keeper lobster right there. But she's soft. Lovely to see nonetheless. Nice big male. But as you can see on the sides here, guys, squishy. No good to us whatsoever. What a shame. Oh, I'm gutted about that. That was the first keeper we found today. And it's soft. But hey, if you can't take it, you can't take it. We'll get him next time. Let's 
it's always lovely being out on days like this a little bit of an onshore breeze but nice and sunny it's very warm Woo -hoo. feeling the burn on this one so much kelp on the beaches at the moment this could be a reason why the lobsters are not all buried in the holes it is everywhere and as you can see it's almost knee deep little camo spider crab look at that little beast there are so many ormers just sat in the rocks here we found absolutely hundreds of them so come january we'll be down here harvesting some highly illegal to do it outside of the seasons but hey nice to see quite like a few around another lobster a little sandy one dug himself into this little burrow here look <laughs> lovely to find though just no keeper back you go little buddy i'll see you when you're big enough where's all the keepers sam <laughs> we decided guys we're gonna go for a little scout about again see if we can find any more oysters the lobsters have been dire eh, mate Hasn't been easy. Look at that. loads of lobsters but just small ones Hopefully we can waddle around and find a couple of oysters to eat. Check this out guys, you can see how fast that tide comes in. That's why usually as soon as it hits low water we start moving up. Because that tide really does race in fast. They can cut you off in a heartbeat. Check this out guys. You can tell these ones have been out here for a while, both stuck together. <laughs> That's awesome to see, two more there. And I've seen just down here, check this out. And there's another two. You can always tell when they've been out the bags and stuck on the ground for a long time because they end up like this, all stuck together and loads of bits stuck to them. But all of these are good eating for me. Pacific rock oysters at their best, baby. We've got some more stragglers. Is that one a keeper? I oh, know that one's dead. So those two right there, look at that, stuck together. Two beauties. Ha <laughs> ha! Lots of oysters. It's nice, eh, Sam? Just raking around. So that's all we're doing, guys. Just raking around. And we're finding the leftovers. <laughs> and we got another one. You can see there's an oyster stuck on the side of it there that's died. And you've got the one big one there the thing when you find the, the scraps like this they do have a lot of stuff just stuck to them but still it's good eating and I will never shy away from oysters we never usually get a lot of them so when we can find them we might as well take advantage Walking our way back up the beach now. Been an interesting little forage, eh, mate? Yeah, it's been nice. It's was, nice it's been that's, nice weather. That's it, eh? I was so gutted about that big lobster, though, the big softy. Yeah, it's a shame we didn't have any hard keepers. Nah, because you must have found six or seven as well, eh? Six or seven under size, yeah. yeah. This was about four mil out, so. Nah, it's crazy. Yeah, it's a shame. Oh, well, we're, we're going to get to the top of the beach, guys. I'm going to show you the catch. This is what snake lock anemones do to you. This is the sting, and they, they stain your skin brown for a while, eh? Oh yeah, be there for a couple of months, probably. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got another one! High up the beach, Sam! <laughs> <All right. laughs> Look at that, you can tell that one's been washed out by the tide a bit. Still good eating, though. Alright, it looks like we're still foraging. <laughs> oh, I thought that was one there. This is so fun this, just walking around the beach trying to find shellfish like this. We haven't done an oyster forage in a while, I'm so glad we managed to find a few. The oyster farm is right down the bottom there, so what it does is the tide, when it's a big rough tide, pushes everything all the way up here. Oh, I got another one. Look at that one buried in there. You can see all the algae growing on it. There's camouflage. See all this stuff growing here? Shows how long some of these oysters are here when it's all growing on them like that. 
That is a beauty. That's a big oyster, that one. Oh, look how worn out that shell is. <laughs> is that another one? Oh no. I thought that was another one then. I was gonna say, we are literally right up at the tide edge. In that one. Oh, it's another one. Oh, we've got two. <laughs> Look at this! That one's a bit small that, look how small that one is. You can see these, how much they've been ground down by the tide. That's quite, oh there's another one there, look at that. Is it alive? No, nah, that's light that, that's got to be dead. Just shows how far up the beach they can be found. I'm going to throw that one away, it's a bit small. Look at that, seems like we've got a decent amount of uh, oysters around this beach. Just gonna check our catch out, guys. Got all of our oysters here. I can't believe how many we found. Like I said before, they are not the prettiest oysters because they've been sat on the floor for so long, but they are edible and delicious. We got quite a few like this where there's two stuck together. Just making sure there's no really small ones if there's this many on this beach we haven't even tried to look for them that one's a bit small that one so what we're going to do we'll leave that one for another day because we haven't even tried to look for them very hard and we found this many so it just goes to show so we would definitely be back having a look around for some more but some of them you can see how manky they are they've been chewed up by the tide got loads of growth on them but they're going to taste good all the same delicious little oysters baby One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We got twelve oysters. Ah, oh, I'm over the moon with that. We are back in the kitchen now, guys. Got all of our lovely oysters here. So how we're going to cook these, you can see that one's open slightly there. How we're going to cook these, we're just going to boil them. I've just put some boiling water into this. So once this starts bubbling, we're going to put the oysters in there. Because they've been sat on the, on the floor a long time, I'm going to overcook them slightly just because if there's any nasties. Right, th for these to be merged together like this, they must have been there for a long time. So I'm going to boil them first. And what we're going to do is bread them and then fry them be absolutely delicious i can't believe how many oysters we found today it's amazing look at the size of some of these full of seaweed <laughs> they're not the best looking oysters look at that one that one's been beaten up in the storms but it's still alive it's still kicking and we're gonna eat it it's awesome to see them merge together like that though love oysters one of my favorites and all we're doing it's just plopping them in there. This will kill all the bacteria, any sort of nasty stuff that's on them. Because when they're on the floor like that, they can pick up all the uh, the bits or any nastiness from dead animals. So you want to cook them very well. Unless, unless they've come from a, a seriously clean source, you can see it turning darker green. That's the algae. As that cooks, it all goes green. Won't take long, as soon as they open, we'll be munching on them. Definitely starting to open up a little bit now. They've still got a little bit to go. They're definitely getting there. They don't have to open much, just enough for me to get inside them. We've got a few more minutes yet. Oh, that one's opened up nicely, that lovely big one. Here we go guys, our oysters should be cooked now, and all you do, just pull the shell open, and there's the meat sitting there. The reason I do this, like I said before, is I don't want to get sick from any sort of shellfish, so when it's like this and these things have been laying on the floor for a long time, then 
I like to cook them very well, just to make sure the bacteria and stuff inside is, is dead. That's a lovely big oyster, that one. Look at that. There's a whole chunk of meat in there. And that one, look at the size of that. Oh, delicious. Oh yeah. So there we go guys, we've got all of our meat. All I'm gonna do now, while they're still a bit sticky, I'm just gonna throw them in some really fine breadcrumbs. And just, and just get them covered. I don't want a lot, just enough for a little bit of crispiness, just like this. And these are gonna taste absolutely delicious. Oh yeah, nice crispy oysters. Lovely and golden brown. So there we go guys, only a small meal. We've got nice crispy oysters, a bit of lemon, some sweet chili sauce. Delicious. So there we go guys, some delicious crispy oysters. Check that out, a bit of sweet chili sauce, lemon over the top. Mmm. Can't beat the taste of oysters. Cooked oysters very much remind me of Winkle. It's got that Winkle taste to it. If you've ever tried Winkles, you would know what I'm talking about. Mmm. I don't often get the chance to get oysters. Like I say, these are just discards from the oysters, uh, from the oyster beds. So, uh, like, you can find a couple, but you don't find many usually. To find 12, I was over the moon. Mmm. Sam was busy, so he didn't have time to cook them up. So, uh, he told me just to carry on and enjoy. Bit of lemon over the top. Mmm. It was interesting today, though. The lobsters. There were loads of lobsters, but all really about three or four millimetres under under the legal size. Apart from the one that we got that was a big one, but it was soft. But um, yeah, it's a bit gutted today. I thought we would do well with the lobsters, but they're all just small. It just goes like that sometimes. It's lovely how the edges of the oyster goes all nice and crispy as well. Mmm. So I won't leave the video any longer guys, just a quick one this, bit of a different forage, we didn't expect to have this many oysters, but hey, we went for lobsters and got 12 oysters, so I'm not complaining, absolutely delicious. So if you want any merch, the link's in the description guys, as I said before, Christmas is coming up, so now's the time to buy. Ah, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe, these are delicious. It's my fishing baby, woo!